Hey, Dacia Hao Wusu, and today I'm gonna show you the last two most famous attractions here on Moen with my mother. Um, I don't know where she is, but uh, let's go! <laughs> and also, I just wanted to say Shishi for all of the support that I've been getting here the past few weeks, guys. I've almost read like every comment written on the like last two videos. I mean, you guys are just so sweet. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you very much for all of the support. Shishi! Look at who I found. That's a Habu Sushi Lord. That's your how! <laughs> okay, so while we are driving to the most popular place here on Moon, I wanted to teach you guys how to say some uh, things in Danish. So, some easy stuff that you guys can start to say is, for example, my name is, and how you say that in Danish is you say, meet noun er. For example, my name is Anson. Meet now on air, Anson. It's, it's probably pretty difficult for you guys to pronounce because the tone is like pretty, pretty deep compared to like, yeah, English and Mandarin, I'd say. But if you, for example, want to buy maybe a beer, want to say like, can I buy a beer? Then you say in Danish, can I købe en øl? It's probably pretty hard for you guys. If you want to say um, goodbye, then you say farvel. Farvel. <laughs> okay, mom. Do you have something in Danish that I need to say in Mandarin? Do I say? Wait a minute. <laughs> a few moments later. Right, right. Nihen Jun Hao. Nihen Jun Hao. Okay. Nihen Jun Hao. That means you are sweet. You're nice. Because you guys have already learned so much Danish, I will have you um, saying this phrase. It's like a um, phrase that we uh, get like international non-Danish speaking people to say. Hold roll the flow, and then you just say it as fast as you can. So it's hold roll the flow, hold roll the flow, hold roll the flow, hold roll the flow, hold roll the flow. But just say hold roll the flow. It's not that hard, guys. It's not that hard. I kind of struggled before, but <laughs> yeah. But damn, there are a lot of tourists out here. Oh, oh. Okay, so we are now here on Moon Slint, the most popular place here on Moon. It's a really, really beautiful place. All of the nature and in general, just the cliff that we're gonna see here in a minute. But we have to walk down the stairs. That's gonna be like almost 500 steps. So that's gonna be some good cardio for me. And I'm pretty lucky because I haven't trained legs in a few days now. So <laughs> I can do this. Let's go. It's pretty crazy to think about this, that this place used to have a crazy, crazy big amount of di uh, biodiversity for 70 million years ago. So who knows what there lies within this cliff, like how many fossils there are and so on. It's pretty interesting to think about. Right, mom? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this is in fact the most popular place here on Moon. It's just crazy how many people there are here now. We were like out here for like a month ago. There were just like zero people and now they're just like hundreds, thousands. It's crazy. All right. And the worst thing now is just to get up again. So as I said, there's like around 500 steps and now that I'm gonna have to go up again, it's going to be very hard. Yeah, but as I said, I'm lucky that I didn't hit legs for a day or two ago. So okay, I think I'm good. Let's go. Check out my wakao chow hao cardio. Let's go. I think this is my mom's leg day. Yeah. Yeah. Probably mine too. <laughs> oh my. We need to get up. There's probably just 400 steps left. So it's nothing. It's uh, it's easy. We just we just need to have that David Goggins mentality. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Yeah. I think I lost my mom again, but I just heard a guy say if there were monkeys here in Denmark, 
they would probably like to live here. That's pretty <laughs> true, I think. Because look at the beautiful view. So magnificent, so beautiful, guys. I've got a coach and he makes me walk at least 10,000 steps a day. So I think my cardio has improved a lot. Well, I'm still struggling, but um, yeah, I think that I would be far worse off if I didn't walk my 10,000 steps a day. Almost freedom. We almost up. Okay, let's go. How are you feeling? Hot. Hot. You feel hot? Yeah, we made it. What? I feel good. I feel like Superman. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, I'm sweaty. Like holy moly. Now we're going to the next place, and it's called Clint Holmhaun. Try to pronounce it, guys. Clint Holmhaun. It's just a uh, harbor uh, close to. Mönchklint, so let's get it. All right, now we are out on Klintholm Hound and yeah, just see for yourself. As you guys can see, this is a cute little harbor and people that live there, they used to live by only fishing. I don't know if they're still doing that because a lot of, a lot of like big fishing firms have probably bought out the uh, rights to fish here. So I don't know what all of the old fishermen are doing now. When I was a bit more like overweight, I remember family usually uh, went out here to eat. They had like a fish fillet uh, place here. I don't know if they still have it, but uh, I just remember like me going there and just munching everything from the fish fillet brunch or like fish fillet buffet. It was good. I mean, it tasted fantastic. Oh my God. I think I probably consumed around like 10,000 calories every time I was there because it was just too, too delicious. <laughs> Before I go home, my mom just wanted to show you guys a really, really beautiful beach here on Clinton Hound. I can't remember the last time I was out here. It's probably like, what, six years ago, something like that. It's pretty interesting to see if the beach has improved in some kind of way. But I hope it's still beautiful. Okay, but before we go to the beach, my mom and I are pretty thirsty. So we are going to go to one of the local uh, restaurants here in, in Clinton Hound to get something to drink. Let's go. And the funny thing about the restaurant is that it's, that it's called Club Hesten and that means slap the horse because that you are allowed to let your horse stay like besides the restaurant. Sounds kind of weird, but that's what you told me. Yeah, that's what my, my mom told me. So I trust my mom 100%. She would never lie to me. It's because the owner loves to, to ride and ha have a lot of horses. So he's like that. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Beach. Does it have a uh, specific name or anything like that? No, Klinholm Havnstrand. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that beach is so beautiful. This made like quite a few improvements, right? Is that beach like really the beach that I used to like go to? No. Yeah. No? Oh my god, I thought so. But uh, that's my new favorite beach on the moon. Yeah. I'll see all of all of my Taiwan guys, girls out here soon. So guys, come down here. Wow. Thank you all for watching this video, guys. It has been really, really like fun filming again because I've taken like a little break from filming, but um, 
yeah now i just got the motivation to just keep on filming to you guys i just wanted to say thank you again for all of the support that i've been getting see you guys and i'll see you in the next video